windy here, cool, and today we are looking at ferries between Athens and Egana Island. So, ferries between Praeus Port in Athens and Egana. So, let's start with Praeus. Praeus Port is the port in Athens and it is around 15 kilometers south of the city of Athens and it's about 45 kilometers from the airport, from Athens International Airport. So it's pretty easy to get to Piraeus Port and the ferry from Piraeus Port leaves from gate 8, okay, uh, E8 and there are four ferry companies and I will list them here and when you get the ferry from Piraeus Port in Athens to Egana, it takes around 40 minutes for the high speed ferry or an hour and 15 for the big one like this. Just wave at it. There you go. So this is a car ferry. We, we caught the car ferry um, a few days ago here. It was really quite comfortable. Uh, about an hour and 15 to get here. It cost around 45 euros for the car or something like that. Prices start from about eight euros for the passenger ferry um, and they start at around 25 euros for the car ferry depending on which company you get and uh, what time of year you go now in the off season there's around 15 ferries per day leaving Piraeus Athens to Egana um, but in the high season there's as many as 26 every day so you can get a ferry roughly every 40 minutes or so and they start at about 7 in the morning leaving Piraeus uh, and they arrive here sometime around 8 o'clock and then on the way back, sorry, in the evening you can leave at 9 at night and get here for 10 at night, okay? So the journey's short, you don't need a cabin. The decks on these big ones are really comfortable, uh, they've got some great lounges, it's like flying kind of business class in some sections, really comfortable seats. Some food and drink, a little bit overpriced, but you expect that on a ferry, not a great selection either, but it's only an hour long, you know, you don't need too much. So, tips on getting the ferry, right? So the first thing to do is to make sure you get to gate E8 in Piraeus an hour and a half before your ferry time. And this gives you plenty of time in the busy season, gives you plenty of time in the busy season to get your ferry, okay? Because it's going to be busy, it takes a little while to load these things. And if you arrive early and there's already a ferry there and it's not very busy, you might have the option, like what we had, of not of not really waiting too long. You just jump on the next ferry. So if you arrive early, you might be able to get the early ferry, okay? Just ask at the office. The ticket office at Price Port is on the key side. Very easy to do. So here we go, you can see all the foot passengers unloading. And shortly you'll have the cars coming off as well. So Put passengers off first and then the cars. Uh, let's just watch this for a moment. So right, let's carry on here. So the um, other thing to think about is your baggage. They're not really very fussy on baggage weights and things like that. It's a whacking great big ferry. It weighs millions of kilos. It's not gonna, you know, they're not, it's not like an airline. Um, so don't worry too much about your baggage. Like I said, arrive early, get on the ferry when you can. Price port's really comfortable. It's very well served with amenities. So there's lots of little cafes. You're right next to the town center. If you're gonna take a car, which is kind of nice on it, gonna, you know, get a hire car. I'll put the link in below for hire cars if you want a good hire car. Um, the other thing to do is to book your tickets with a website scraper to get the best deals, okay? And a good one that we use, we're affiliates of it actually, is Ferry Hopper. I'll put the link in for that below as well. We found that got us the best prices. Um, and it was, compared to the other sites, it was relatively well priced. It was economical, put it that way. So. 
to get the best details of the most up-to-date schedules and the leaving times and all the things like that and the best prices try ferry hopper um, and you can see today it's quite busy there's quite a lot of people coming off the ferry uh, when you book your tickets make sure okay this is a killer one make sure that you book to the right port because there's three ports here in Egana, right make sure you get into the right port there's one in Egana town which is where we're at now there's another one in Agia Marina or Agia Marina and there's another one in Sulakia Suvala Savala, hang on, Tana's here to correct me as always. Where is it? <laughs> I think it's Savala or Suvla. Yeah, okay. Not Suvlaki, that's food. Not Suvlaki, no, that's food. Yeah, cool. So make sure you get the right ferry to the right port. Saying that, Egan is not very big, so if you did accidentally get the wrong ferry to the wrong port, it doesn't really matter. There's loads of taxis around. It's very quick to drive between them. You can drive across the whole island in less than an hour. Um, and there's buses and public transport and things like that so if you did accidentally find out that you've booked the wrong ferry you know it's no massive drama you just got a little bit of traveling to do and you get to the other end but for convenience sake check out the right website check out ferry hopper it'll tell you which ferry you need pay close attention to the times that it's leaving leave yourself an hour and a half before you go the ride across here is pretty smooth okay you know um, you don't really need seasickness pills, but if you do get travel sick, then maybe pop a seasickness tablet an hour before you get on. So when you get to the port an hour and a half before is a good time to go get a coffee, neck your seasickness pill then. Um, inside is air conditioned. It's nice and cool. Not very good views though, particularly looking forwards on these things. All right, so if you want a good view, you're gonna to wanna to get out on deck. If you're gonna get out on deck, it's gonna be really hot. Yeah, because it's really hot here um, and quite breezy. So make sure you protect yourself against the elements. So sun hat, factor 50 and things like that. Um, there's food on board all of these ferries. It's not great, right? It's not bad, it's just not great. It's kind of ferry food as you would expect. So if you've got particular dietary requirements, then you know, bring your own food. Or if you want to save a couple of bucks, if you're traveling on a budget, then pick up your food in the supermarket before you get on. It is only an hour, you don't need to eat, but it is hot on the deck. You probably will need to drink. So bring at least a bottle of water with you. And there's loads of other things that I've forgotten to tell you about, but I've banged on for long enough about this now. Here's the car ferry. Let's go and have a look down here now at where you get the um, tickets from to leave because when you have got to Egana, you of course want to leave again. Now, the best bet is of course to book your return tickets when you book your uh, departure tickets okay and that's the most cost effective way of doing it um there's not a lot of red tape or something you know when you're getting on the ferry it's like literally you just get on the ferry show them your ticket the off rules. you go um you might want to check the covid rules if that still applies whilst you're watching this and to figure out what that is check out the greek government website i'll put the link in below for that as well um let's walk down to the other end now i'm just going to face forwards for a little while so i can concentrate on where i'm going so I don't walk off the edge of the quay or something because that'd just make you funny that'd make you laugh wouldn't it yeah so it's pretty easy to get out uh, in your car or on foot follow the key all the way down to this building here the square looking one in the distance the sandy colored one uh, swing a left and you go along the quayside where all the cars are parked over here and then you drive out onto what's effectively the coast road and you can turn left or you can turn right and you're turning right into the town which is over here here we go let's look at the flying dolphin coming in you see, they're pretty regular, you know. This is the high speed one, okay? Flying Dolphin's the 40 minute one. This really shifts, this does. No cars on this one, obviously. Look at the size of it, it's a tiny little thing compared, compared to the other one. It's 
So these are coming into a different part of the key. It's all the same place, okay? Coming in all the same place, right in the middle of Agia. Agia. Oh, right in the middle of the town centre. Right in the middle of Egana town centre. And into the picturesque fishing port here in the town. Okay, so when you're leaving, if you haven't booked your return ticket, then you want to come down here. And normally, unless it's really, 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 really busy, normally you can just come down here and pick up a ticket from one of these booths. Right, so let's have a look. I'll just show you this so you know where to go. Here's the beach road. This is literally the beach road, okay? You're walking along, well, not the beach road, the coast road. You're walking along here, taking in all the cafes, the sights and sounds of Egana, right? And then you just nip in here. This is the landmark that you want to look for. This building here. You can see it from the other side of the harbour. Here you have your ticket offices for the ferries. Ferry from Egana Island or Egana Town back to Piraeus. Ceronic ferries here, they're the ones we travelled with, they're pretty good, they're all much of a muchness, just get the one that suits you. Cool, we are, look, let's get some bonus footage of this high speedy thing. Where's it going to go, where's it going to go? I think if I go up here, it's going to come flying past us. Yeah. See, it's already backing out at a fair rate of knots. I was saying that though, these big ones don't hang around either, you know. You know, they, they, they're pretty quick. Let's uh, see if we can get some footage of this thing taking off. I don't know whether I don't know whether we'll see this one hydroplane or not. Because when they when they stand up and hydroplane then uh, they're quite spectacular but they usually have to build up a bit of speed first to do that and also I don't actually know whether this one actually does the flying dolphins do flying dolphin ferries do I'm chasing it it's got to swing around in a minute and launch itself let's go right to the end Yeah, uh, right, so it's going to go it's going to go off in that direction over there. Oh, you can have a look inside this one now, look. There you go, so you generally walk up the ramp to get on it, you walk up the ramp on the side, you drive up the main part of the ramp, and it's a little bit chaotic sometimes, but you just got to be a little bit patient and be prepared to wait a few minutes right this thing's turned around now it should do one pretty quickly let's see Hellenic seaways this is a modern one the flying dolphin ones are a little older He's off. Yeah, you can't hear it now, but he's now just starting to... No, that's a shame. I don't think he's going to really open it up until he's sort of out of sight. And on the GoPro, it looks really small, so you're looking at a dot disappearing into the distance now. I'll see what. Yeah, he's taking it easy until he gets out a bit. Never mind. That didn't work. But you get an idea. And you get a good view of this one as well. You can see the people standing on the deck. On the top deck up here, on the side deck here. They're really smooth, you know. You get on one of them, you don't feel the swell or anything. A bit bigger. A bit bigger than the smaller ones here that go faster. These these bigger ferries they're a bit more resilient to the swell and the waves you don't feel so much and 
after you've been on it a little while you sort of forget that you're on a boat all you can feel is the vibration on the floor a little bit a little bit of vibration on the floor lets you know there's a couple of big ass turbines working somewhere or a couple of big engines working somewhere to push you along and these are quite old you know these aren't modern at all these things are right modern but actually these older ones i think are, are excellent really so good right there are. which one do you prefer tanya i like the ones we can sit on the deck you um, like the deck sitting on one yeah yeah right okay although it's, it's quite good getting the quick one as well it depends what you want doesn't it yeah yeah I mean, if you haven't got a lot of time and you just want to quickly nip around different islands, then the quick ones are great. But if you know you're, you've got a bit more time and having a lovely holiday, sitting on the deck is all part of it, really, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, this is the high speed ferry. Typical of a high speed ferry. So, it's catamaran. It goes pretty quick. It goes actually twice as fast, really, as one of those bad boys over there. So, this one's currently docked in Egana and you can see it's a bit like a cross between a train and an aeroplane I don't know if you can see inside up there because the windows are tinted but these are quick 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 um, but there's no room to sit outside on one of these let's try and get a different angle from over here so you can get a bit of an idea There we go. So there's no room for sitting outside on one of these and you sit down in your seat and you have to really stay there. And uh, it's like cross between a plane, a bus and a train. And um, these are um, a little bit more expensive. Obviously no cars on one of these. Yeah. So no cars. Let's see if I can get right close to it. Uh, no cars. Small seats, all facing forwards. But the bonus of it is, the bonus of it is, is that you aren't on it for so long. You know, it's, it's quite exciting actually. It goes quite quick. Um, these ones, however, these big ones, hang on, let's run around there quickly. His little tiny running around to the other ferry. That one? Yeah. Oh, this is my workout for the day. I've just been running out about all the little times to the islands. Ah. The different islands. You've been working out all the times to the different islands. I know, because you can do little um, boat trips. Oh, right, okay. So, like, like a half day or a day and stuff like that. So. And how much are they? Well, Molly Island in there, which is the one with random animals on there is 11 euros from here from Egan Town um, and that goes with every hour or every hour or something throughout the day oh okay and then there's a Gistry Island which is a bigger island well it's smaller than this but it's one you could also stay on and I think that one is about seven or eight euros oh okay so yeah that's what I was doing ah so boats to different islands obviously not as big as these ones no, these are like smaller. No, not car. Oh, no, I think the one to a Gistry is a car ferry. Oh, is it? Yeah, but it's only a 10 minute boat trip. Oh, right, so it'll be a little one like they have going from Galatas to Poros. Yeah, I would think so. Right, oh, okay. So the cool things about these bigger ferries is obviously, you know, all of these lorries and cars are going to get on them. You know, you can go over in any sort of vehicle. Well, there's a great big tanker going on there, so. You know, a couple of HGVs and buses and things like that. And the great thing I think about these is you can sit on the deck and uh, have some food. The food's not that great. Take your own food. Take your own food. Yeah. <laughs> the food's um, somewhat questionable and expensive, but nothing's stopping you taking your own on, of course. And you can sit on the deck and uh, outside in the sun have a beer, have some food, have a lovely time. And uh, also inside is quite luxurious as well. Air conditioned cabins, lounge style seats, you know, where you're kind of sitting in a circle or sitting at a table in a square with your friends or your family or something. 
it's much more um, much more sociable than just uh, sitting there facing all in the same direction like when you're on a bus or a train like you get on the faster ferries that we just saw so these might take twice as long they're cheaper and I like these because like you know you can move around inside they got cafe cafeteria bar restaurant -y thing dining area deck on the back to sit on outside you can normally sit on the top as well and stand on the top and get out in the sun if you want the sun in the shade if you want the shade but you're outside and uh, we had a very pleasant four-hour journey from Piraeus to Syros the other week Naxos Syros yeah Syros so that was and that was very nice we sat on deck had some food had a couple of beers and then we got off four hours later in Syros it was great and we took the car you know so anyway cool oh, anything to add yeah, that's the name, isn't it? Cool. Ferries in Greece. Like, share, subscribe. What else have they got to do? Um, you can book your ferries via the ferry hopper link below. And check, check out, out the. No, go on, no, go on, no. go on, go on. <laughs> tell them, tell them, Tanya. Check out my blog as well, which is uh, www.cantravelwilltravel.com. There'll be lots of more uh, Greece content coming up on there soon. Emailers in the description below the emails there. Check out the description below for loads of links. And Patreon, if you're a patron, we truly appreciate your support. And that's there's loads of extra stuff on Patreon, loads of stuff coming up on Patreon as well. What else? <laughs> there's nothing else. I'm gonna fall and see if you keep getting. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, cool, like, share, subscribe, see you later. Bye-bye. Stay safe out there. All I want.